Hello everyone, welcome to part 10 of Mastering Business English Communication. In today's episode, we are going to explore a crucial aspect of communication, the art of writing formal letters and emails and in the process we will also understand how different they are from informal writing. So let's get started. To begin with, let's understand when to use formal letters and when to use informal letters. Formal letters are used in professional situations like job applications, business correspondence and academic writing. On the other hand, informal letters are perfect for personal conversations and for sharing news and updates. Moving on to format and structure. Formal letters follow a specific format with structured paragraphs and sections. On the other hand, informal letters are flexible in structure and format. Formal letters open with a formal opening. Example, Dear Sir or Dear Madam. Informal letters begin with informal greetings. Example, Hey John. Formal letters are written with a purpose and therefore the message should be clear and to the point leaving no room for confusion. You don't need a specific reason to write an informal letter. They may even include personal anecdotes. Coming to grammar, adherence to grammar is important when it comes to formal writing. Example, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Informal letters have a relaxed approach to grammar. Example, sorry to keep you waiting. Talking about language, language is polite respectful and professional when it comes to formal writing. Example, I apologize for the delay in responding. Language is conversational, relaxed and friendly when it comes to informal writing. Example, sorry I took a while to get back to you. Precision is the key in formal writing. Complex and precise words should be used in formal letters. Example, I must leave now. Informal letters use everyday words and colloquial expressions. Example, I got to go now. See you. Contractions and abbreviations make our writing informal and therefore should be avoided when it comes to formal writing. Example, she cannot attend the meeting is a formal way of writing whereas she can't attend the meeting is an informal way of writing. Similarly, as soon as possible is formal. Whereas ASAP, which is an abbreviated form of as soon as possible, is informal. In formal writing, sentences do not begin with conjunctions. Also, it's important to avoid exclamatory sentences as they evoke emotions. Phrasal verbs have multiple meanings and therefore should be used with caution when it comes to formal writing. Example, during the meeting, the manager mentioned the issue of declining sales is a formal way of writing, whereas during the meeting, the manager brought up the issue of declining sales is an informal way of writing. Formal letters close with a formal closing. Example, yours sincerely. Informal letters close with an informal closing. Example, best regards. Lastly, formal letters include sender's contact information, whereas informal letters include sender's personal contact information. Now that we have learned how to write formal letters, how about an activity? Here's a sample business letter. Let's read the letter and identify its style of writing. Hey company, I bought one of your laptops last week and it's been nothing but trouble. I can't get anything done with it. First off, the battery is always draining way too fast. Plus, the screen keeps freezing randomly, making it impossible to get any work done. I mean, seriously, this is not what I paid for. I think you guys need to fix this as soon as possible. I'm hoping you will sort this mess out soon. Thanks. Did you just identify it's informal? Perfect. 
Here's another version of the letter that has incorporated formal style of writing. Subject. Complain regarding recent purchase. Dear customer service, I wish to communicate my dissatisfaction regarding the laptop I purchased from your company last week. Regrettably, the battery life of the device is considerably shorter than advertised, leading to inconveniences. Furthermore, the screen intermittently freezes, impeding productivity. I kindly request immediate attention to rectify these concerns and await your prompt response. Yours sincerely, followed by full name. Mastering both formal and informal English is about adapting your language to the context. Whether you are writing an email to your boss or writing a letter to your friend, being aware of these differences will help you communicate more effectively. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more such valuable inputs. Thank you. See you soon.